Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to F1 Manager 2024 and another part of our Lotus Road to Glory career mode. Today we have got the feature race of the Austrian Grand Prix. Really looking forward to it. Um, last time out, we, we were okay. Um, it was actually probably our most consistent pace that we've shown. Um, okay, we weren't, you know, ever going to... Uh, threaten the points uh, certainly not in a sprint race but uh, you know we only finished eight seconds behind mercedes in there um fernando alonso came through the field but we're very much the mid-table team at the moment 13th and 14th on our day we might be able to sneak a point or two um but it, what's been really important is that we've uh, kept some hard tires ready for the race we've still got a, a set of medium tires to use as well so i think that that's going to become really really crucial there's there's not many of us out there that have still got our hard compound tires uh, for race day so i'm really excited to get into q1 uh you know we might be able to sneak into the top 10 but uh yeah mick schumacher is gonna get us underway off he goes on his travels and then uh, Nico Hulkenberg is going to follow him round as well. Mm, Hulkenberg just unfortunately coming across a little bit of traffic. Doesn't seem to have affected him though as he's two tenths quicker than his teammate through the first sector. Here we go then with Mick Schumacher through the middle sector. Where can he get to today? He comes through and uh, he does 28-8 uh, in that middle sector. Here comes Hulkenberg then, and it's going to be a 28-5 for Nico Hulkenberg. So Hulkenberg definitely more attuned to the car, feeling very, very confident. He had a couple of dodgy Grand Prix, didn't he? But uh, Mick Schumacher, he comes up to the line first, a 104. Point eight certainly could have been a lot better. Here comes Hulkenberg up to the line. He's into the 104 ones. Very good from Nico there. Quicker than Lewis Hamilton, in fact. Ricardo, he goes uh, above Hulkenberg, but we're going to send out Schumacher straight away on the scrub tyres to try and improve that time. And we'll see. I mean, it's it's not bad. Eight. Yeah, wasn't. That was a good lap. That was a good lap. Wasn't much of a improvement there. Oh, red flag! Is that Russell? I think Russell has ended up in the wall. Yep, he has. George Russell is in the wall. The straight here. So he came round. Yep. Ooh, and and I, I'm not sure what's up with the, uh, the Mercedes car, one. but it does seem to be. Um sparking quite a lot doesn't it now uh hulkenberg absolutely fine i think we'll be easily through into the final uh or into q2 i don't think he has to worry too much and especially now that george russell is out as well that's a guy that won't be ahead of us now Mick Schumacher he might have to go out again he's seven tenths slower than his teammate um, yeah, we'll have to see I mean it's it's gonna be pretty close Mick Schumacher 14th at the moment I think Hulkenberg's okay I don't think he has to come out again but we'll send out Mick Schumacher try and get him some clear air well it's not brilliant is it He's okay through the first sector. 69, it's okay. You can lose it all in the first sector. It's certainly not all gained in that first sector, but you could lose it if you have a really uncompetitive first sector. He's coming around this middle sector now. Looking for somewhere in the 28.5s. Again, a little bit slower than he needs to be. And this might not be enough for Mick Schumacher then. As he comes round the final corner, he needs to find something, and it doesn't look like he's got anything. No, it's a 14-8 again. 
pretty much identical to his previous time and Bottas has gone quicker than him. I think that's the, the telltale sign that it's not going to be enough. Having said that, Magnussen is in the pit. Understood. Albon is. Fittipaldi's out. Gasly's out. Zhou Guan Yu is going slowly. Logan Sargent, he's going to come over the line. Where's he going to go? No improvement. So Mick Schumacher is okay. I think Ocon's going to get through as well. Ocon over the line. And he stays 16th. So Mick Schumacher's fine. Absolutely fine. Didn't need to use that extra set of soft tyres. The McLaren's looking mighty this weekend. Let's see how we get on now. 11th and 14th in that session. And, uh, well, I think it might be worth sending out Schumacher on some scrub tyres. Give him a little bit of a bank of time. We'll send Hulkenberg out just behind his teammate. See if he can get a little bit of a, of a tour from his teammate. Now, this looks pretty much perfect if nobody else comes out and they haven't done. So here we go then. This is the time for Mick Schumacher to shine. It's a decent first sector. 16-9, beating 16-8 there from Nico Hulkenberg. Now remember... Schumacher is on the scrubs. So we're not expecting Mick Schumacher to put in his best time. 28-8 there. 28-5 again for Nico Hulkenberg. He is getting a very slight toe from his teammate through this final sector now. So here we go then. Mick Schumacher is going to be up first. Wants to improve on that 104-8. And it is, well, it's a 104.8 again. Hulkenberg comes through, and it's a 104.4. And, well, very decent from Schumacher, considering that was on the scrubs. We've got another run to come. Well, I think Hulkenberg can probably manage to do another run on the... Scrub tyres. See if he can improve and then come back round, put on the brand new tyres. I think uh, that first sector, it's not bad. It's pretty much matched what he did before he comes round the middle sector. 28-7, so yeah, he's not going to manage anything better. So we'll just bring him in. Schumacher on the new tyres. Um, yeah, currently 11th and 13th. There goes Schumacher out. Hulkenberg's going to head out as well. Looking at Max Verstappen, he's going to ruin the start of Hulkenberg's uh, lap. Is he, is he going to ruin Schumacher's lap? Off. I think so. I think he's ruined uh, Schumacher's lap. There's loads of cars there, isn't there? So let's uh, let's bring it all down. I don't know why people have just come out. They are not going to make it. That is good. This is ridiculous. Hulkenberg, what's our first sector looking like? It's okay. He's done okay on that first sector. Got some yellow flags. Somebody's locked up. I think we're okay, though. But I don't think Hulkenberg is going to improve. Yeah. We have to pick up the speed in high speed. No. 28.8. He was doing 28.5s before. 
so I don't think Hulkenberg's going to improve. What about Schumacher? He's going to start his final lap now. You're currently P11. Yeah, Hulkenberg did improve in that final sector. But not by enough. Comes Schumacher to decent first sector. He's got a little tour here from the Alpine. That could help. He, he doesn't need to find too much here. Comes through the middle sector, it's not enough for 28.9, yeah, it's not enough. Well, what a shame. I don't think he's going to manage to get ahead of Perez and Bottas here. Hulkenberg just outside of the top ten, here comes Schumacher then, up to the line. Not enough. Pity. A real pity, but uh, yeah, just not, not quite on it enough so there you go then Carlos Sainz uh, takes pole position he takes it off the McLarens amazingly Max Verstappen starts fourth but you can see it's a bit of a mixed upgrade here Perez out of position obviously Russell well out of position Schumacher obviously has his grid penalty as well because of the crash in the last Grand Prix here among the mountains in Austria, the teams are preparing for the 71 laps of today's race. Four years on from the circuit being renamed to the Red Bull Ring, Max Verstappen became the first driver to bring an eponymous car to victory here in 2018. Spielberg's challenges are all about overtaking. The DRS zones here mean passing is very possible, especially if your tyres are in a better condition than the next cars but get caught out having to manage less than fresh tyres? You could be a sitting duck. Tension continues to build here as race day begins. Okay, right, so we definitely need to make sure that we are... Um... You know, on it with the strategy today. As I say, having those hard tyres, I think, is going to be crucial. Um, you know, particularly Nico Hulkenberg there. That's looking pretty damn good. Um, you know, can have those soft tyres running up quite nicely towards the end of the race. Yeah, I think that looks good for, for Nico. Starting on those medium tyres. Or do you start on the on the softs? Because track position is king. Yeah, I wanna I wanna revert that. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Let's see what this can do. What can this look like? You know what? I think soft, medium, hard. I think that's a, a good strategy. To be honest with you. I like that. Mick Schumacher, I think, go for something a little bit different. He's got the hard tyres as well, so he can he can start off with, uh, with hards. Maybe do the exact opposite for Mick Schumacher. and take him longer into the race. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's going on here? I 
Not really sure why. Mick Schumacher is struggling there. Yeah. Bizarre. What are we looking at there for a 117.26 as opposed to a 117.16? making zero sense to me. It really is. Um... Let's just edit this one. Let's add in another soft tyre stint towards the end. Do a three stop race. How would that look? Whoops. It doesn't look too bad. I'm just completely baffled at why. No, let's stick with that. Let's assume that it'll all be fine. Um, we're going to take a lap out of fuel out of Hulkenberg's car, a lap of fuel out of um, Schumacher's car. We're going to be aggressive with Hulkenberg at the start. Uh, we're just going to be normal with Schumacher. I Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure why... Um, that is... Uh, not working for Mick Schumacher. Perhaps he's just a little bit harder on his tyres. And maybe the game is taking that into account. Let's get ourselves into this race. Here we go. Well then, it's not long until we get started here. And we should be in for a tightly contested race. Time for Oscar Piastri to show what he can do. They're in second place on the grid, but that could so easily change in the first few seconds. Look at that, after Norris on the softs, Piastri on the hards. There's and lots of different like strategies out go. there. This is going to be very interesting. It's the race we've all been waiting for. It's the Austrian Grand Prix. Like the Max Verstappen is on softs as well, and so lights, lights out. out. Away we go, away Carlos go. Sainz. Off to a good start. Can Nico Hulkenberg make a move on Lewis Hamilton early all early doors here? Let's see. I'm gonna go high on the aggression early on for both drivers. And see if we can make up some positions. Really important. Now Schumacher gets himself in front of the Haas cars pretty quickly, probably in front of Ocon as well. Bottas is is quite high for the pace of um, kicks out at the moment. What a move on Hamilton that was from Nico Hulkenberg. What a start for the German. Mick Schumacher doing okay as well. This is exactly what we needed to do. Schumacher up to 16th right now. A chance for Nico Hulkenberg on Fernando Alonso. It could be a move into turn one. Not just yet. Taking interesting lines. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to go into the back of him there. That was crazy. But he's okay. Hulkenberg continues on. He's up into ninth place right now. Very good, Nico. And here comes Schumacher K9. K9. on K9. Kevin K9. Magnussen. K9. And he is through. Beautifully done. Right. And he's pushed him into the yeah, gravel nicely the there as well. So 
So Hulkenberg in a, a great position right now. Okay, you got this. Copy. But uh, we know that Fernando Alonso is going to be a real threat to Hulkenberg today. goes Fernando Alonso typically perfect overtake there perfectly timed now then important for Schumacher to get it ahead of Kevin Magnussen Something pretty good so far. Hulkenberg staying within touch of Fernando Alonso. And Perez's tyres are taking a beating as well. Yeah, DRS open, and this is going to be a great chance for Hulkenberg. Down the inside he goes. On Fernando Alonso, he's up into ninth position now. Slowly but surely, trying to make his way up to the back of Daniel Ricciardo. It's not quite working just yet. But we're definitely in the hunt for some points today. Wow, Perez coming from a long way back. That was a huge move from Sergio there. Yeah, he's through. But we're going to stick with uh, Hulkenberg's battle. You can see Mick Schumacher starting to close in on Fittipaldi and, and Ocon now as well. Yeah, Hamilton now looking like he might have a go at Hulkenberg. Starting to make a bit of a DRS train. Carlos signs pole position sitter down in ninth place. What has happened to him? Is he one stopping today? Is he looking after those tyres? I'm not sure. Anyway, Hamilton now right on the back of Hulkenberg. He's making a move on Nico. Well, Hulkenberg managed to steal the DRS back off him. And here we go now with Mick Schumacher on Esteban Ocon. Didn't quite make the move just there. Can have a go this time though. And he's going to go around the outside. That's a big move from Mick Schumacher. And he is through. On Esteban Ocon. Up into 14th position on the hard tyres. And not too far, really, behind his teammate. Which is great to see. Now, Hamilton is ahead of Hulkenberg once again. Hulkenberg just struggling to hang on to the, the coattails of this group. Which makes sense. We're not as quick as these guys. Going to try and get their purely on strategy today. So Hulkenberg, he will be coming in on lap 18. We're going to just look after the tyres for the next couple of laps. Still within DRS range of Hamilton. Do we avoid high-risk curbs? Maybe we do. Try and extend that tyre life a little bit. And so George Russell is overtaking Mick Schumacher. This is pretty much perfect because the DRS gets us nice and close to Lewis Hamilton. And 
then he'll get away a little bit in the, the corners but not more than a second and that'll just keep us within touching distance of Lewis Hamilton but it is allowing us to just look after our tyres a little bit without losing too much pace there you go just about staying within nine tenths and that is pretty much perfect because with a triple DRS zone that means that you, you really are gaining a good amount of time I just need to up it slightly because I'm not sure this time we're going to stay within a second and there you go you see we just drop out of that golden one second mark as uh, well Ricardo and Perez are battling it out imagine if that happened in real life at the moment <laughs> That would be, that would be some battle, wouldn't it? It would be seen as the battle for the second Red Bull seat. And we've just about managed to look after our tyres enough to stick with, uh, or, or at least better lose Hamilton's tyre wear. Just losing a little bit of temperature, so we're going to go a little bit more aggressive on the on the tyres. You can see we've now made it right up behind Lewis Hamilton. This is looking good, very good for Hulkenberg. Perez is the one to keep an eye on because his tyres are nearly below thirty percent. Or sooner than that. So now Nico Hulkenberg in with a real chance of getting back past Lewis Hamilton here. And he manages it. He's going to use the ERS to defend from Lewis. And look at this. He's now catching up to Ricardo and Perez. And we've got some yellow flags out there. Just checking it's neither of our two guys. Yeah, and it's Kevin Magnussen that's had a spin out there. There goes Hamilton again. But we're sort of yo-yoing ourselves towards Ricardo and Perez. Wow, what a move from Hulkenberg there. Perez is in. Perez is in the pit lane. Right, here we go. Hulkenberg is going to be coming in this lap. Hulkenberg back through again so in comes Nico Hulkenberg Hamilton continues on as does Ricardo. so we need a, a big pit stop now come on that's okay 2.7 it's not bad We'll be battling at the exit. So Hulkenberg comes out, and I think he is out in a nice gap ahead of Fittipaldi. Needs to stay ahead, though. So I'm going to push hard here. Well, he's 0.8 behind. Desperately needs to stay in front of Fittipaldi. Cannot allow Fittipaldi past. Well, there you go. There you go. Typical, isn't it? I think he'll be okay. Let's give it a go. He's struggling to keep up with his pace. 
but we'll totally catch them up, okay? It's just really important that we get past him. And he is going to down the inside of the final corner. That was a huge move from Nico. Hamilton coming out of the pits now. And I think Fittipaldi has squeezed his way in between. That gives us a great chance now then. Can Schumacher hold off Ricardo? No, he can't. No, he can't. I thought he could there, but it didn't happen. Gonna tell Schumacher to not fight with uh, Nico. And he will hold off Lewis a little bit here. But not enough. And the yellow flags out there. Oh, what a move from uh, Schumacher. Back past Hamilton, he goes. Goes round the outside. And this is delightful for Nico Hulkenberg. Brilliant. Right, now then. Need to get back to consistent pace for... Nico Hulkenberg. Well, he's going to have DRS on Hamilton again here. And he's once again going to go down the inside of Hamilton. Mick Schumacher will be really frustrating. The seven-time world champion at the moment flies around the outside there. And he is holding up Lewis a treat here. Doing his teammate a massive favour. Hamilton once again gets passed into turn one, but he, he's going to lose out here once again, you would feel, on the next straight with DRS enabled. But this time, Hamilton stays in front, and that's going to be the end of that one, you, you would think. So, Hulkenberg, 3.6 ahead of Hamilton. with a slightly better tyres at this stage. Hulkenberg pretty consistent out there. And let's see if we avoid high-risk curbs. Will that help out Hulkenberg? think so. As Hamilton is closing in now. And you can see they're just pulling out a, a decent gap. Now Schumacher is going to be coming in this lap. Putting on that medium tyre. Let's see how he gets on here. Yeah, another 2.7. Yeah. Hulkenberg is about to be passed by Lewis here. Now, when is Hulkenberg coming into the pits? Oh, why, why, whoa, 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 why is Hulkenberg being aggressive? 
That was an accident from me. Right, he is going to have to avoid high-risk curbs now. That was a mistake from me. Keeping him aggressive there. That was absolutely an accident. He's coming in lap 41. Should just about be okay. We spotted it early enough. Now let's just make Schumacher just behind uh, Carlos Sainz. He's managing to follow Sainz around here. What is happening with Sainz out there? Your tyres start to be in better window. How is Mick Schumacher quicker than a Ferrari at this stage? Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Now Russell's overtaking Hulkenberg as well. So. Not ideal. And as I've said, I think, you know, we are the, the 13th fastest car out there and. Ultimately, that's where we're going to end up uh, positioning. You know, we're a long way off uh, Daniel Ricciardo now in 10th place. But that's why it was so important to take that opportunity of getting that point when we had that chance in Canada. will be coming in this lap so we're going to get him in now put him and he should come out in front of Yuki Sonoda who's having it I'm very 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 sorry what's happened to Schumacher he, he's had a crash what's happened here oh he's just lost it and into the wall two races in a row now has he damaged any bits of his car? Well, let's see. Um, front wing. And the chassis as well. That's not really that helpful. It's a real shame. There goes Sainz. So Sainz is particularly slow, isn't he? feedback on tyres. Yeah, how are the tyres looking? They look okay. I don't think they took much of a hit. And there's Hulkenberg out. Russell ahead. Bottas behind. So I think we're in a pretty good place with that. Yeah. Real shame for Mick Schumacher. Oh, we've got There's more crash more cars crash three. now. What's it's happened here? Is it the two Williams cars? No, it's Lando Norris out there. And uh, oh, the Sauber! Oh my word! So Lando Norris. He's now no longer in the lead. Let's have a little look at uh, lap times for Nico Hulkenberg. That's going to be the the big one. Currently P13. Piastri's Next past Norris Russell. now. And, well, no penalties given. Yeah, you would have behind. to say Zhou Guan Yu was the one at fault Leclerc is into the pits just hold back a little bit now Norris still hasn't come into the pits he's about two seconds a lap slower than his teammate here comes Nico Hulkenberg a 109.4 that is quicker than Russell quicker than Hamilton about the same as Daniel Ricciardo so this is this is interesting now. So Mick Schumacher, when is he going to be coming into the pits? So your PC 
17. He's, uh, 17. A bit of trouble, isn't he? Might have to go for another set of mediums. Let's uh, let's have a little look then with uh, with Mick. What can we do here? We were to go for another medium tire strategy to the end. Yeah, we'd have to look after the tires quite significantly, wouldn't we? Actually, softs would be a much better option. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. With Schumacher. Hulkenberg, meanwhile, let's have a look at it. This lap time, a 108.9. He is uh, quick out there. Is Nico now that his tyres are up to, to temp? I don't think he's going to quite reach Russell Law, is he? Oh, it's going to be so tight. Look at this. But Russell is on the medium tyres. It's okay. Yeah, don't uh, fight too much. Just stay with him. That's probably the the advice. And there we go. We're right behind Lewis Hamilton again. But I'm quite happy to be dragged along by the Mercedes here. If we can stay within a second. Which we certainly might be able to. There's Daniel Ricciardo. It's P7 at the moment and he's about two seconds a lap slower than us. Now that's uh, Lando Norris coming in. He's just changed his front wing. Well, there's Leclerc passed. Hamilton is going to be the next one passed by Leclerc here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Magnussen has overtaken uh, Mick Schumacher here. That's certainly not something I was expecting. Good. Understood. Yeah, Mick Schumacher needs to look after his tyres, doesn't he? I think he's going to have to come in this lap. I'll have to put on some soft tyres. But we haven't changed the front wing. It's not ideal for us it's not been a, a great couple of rounds for for mick it's been lapped by his teammate today yeah, he's a couple of laps down so i think he'll be okay there now hulkenberg just uh, lapped Enzo Fittipaldi. It's Oscar Piastri coming through to to lap Hulkenberg once again. Yeah, I mean Ricardo is miles ahead, isn't he? Of of Hulkenberg, it looks like it's going to be another thirteenth place for us with Nico. And tell him to avoid high risk curbs as well to hopefully help them last until the end of the race. Now, of course, anything could still happen. We could still have a red flag. We could still have a late safety car. And we have to be prepared for that. Because there is definite opportunity out there. If there was, oh, oh. well, well, well. Yeah, good. Copy. Yellow red. It's 
not been a good day for <laughs> Mick Schumacher. Turn three, turn three oh, no. gets on That's the power just a little bit too much. And there's not much they can do about that now. And he's hurt his tyres there as well. These tyres were meant to last. Time management is good. Till the end. Let's see how much he lost. He didn't lose too much there. Thankfully. Yeah, 1090. Could uh, get on with rigging the race by getting Schumacher to really slow down. <laughs> we are happy with fuel. Yeah, it's not really a, a concern, is it? Hulkenberg definitely uh, struggling out there compared to Kevin Magnussen, I think it is. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's uh, Fittipaldi. He's going to unlap himself here, I think. But, um, yeah, long, long way ahead of Bottas. But, yeah, just sort of hoping for a late. late safety car, late red flag. We could try and go for the glory of a faster slap with Hulkenberg here. We've very much got a free pit stop in hand. Focus on your tyres. Yeah, I'm thinking let's uh, let's give it our our all here. We're going to come into the pits next lap with Hulkenberg, so he can absolutely attack now. He's going to come in, put on some soft tyres, and we're going to try and get faster slap here. It might not happen, but it's it's worth a bit of fun having a go. You know, we're not gonna get into the points today, so I think it's worth having a try at it. 46 seconds ahead of Bottas, so no real danger. So in he comes. Nico Hulkenberg, another chance of getting a, a fast pit stop in there as well. And we might do the same with Mick Schumacher. Go in, go in. Gives us two opportunities. Good entry. Yeah, three seconds pit stop for... Hulkenberg, not a great pit stop. Your P13. Now then. Yeah, gonna just get those tyres up to temp. 2.5 pit stop for Schumacher. It's pretty decent. At the line, there'll be four laps to go. And Signs is out. Okay, oh no. Yeah. Signs is out. Well. You have got to be kidding, haven't you? <laughs> I really hope that there's not an incident between Hamilton and Russell now. That would have allowed us to give it a chance. Right. So, tyres, we're going to get them up to temperature quite nicely here. And then we're going to have a go. So, yeah. Here we go then. This is going to be it for Nico Hulkenberg. Let's see if he can put in faster slap of the race here. 
Final lap of the Grand Prix. And it's uh, Oscar Piastri that is leading. It's looking like he's going to win his first Grand Prix. It's a 16-9 first sector. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Now, what about Hulkenberg in the middle sector? What can he manage here? It's a long race, so... He's coming round now. Oh, it's purple. This really could be a faster slap for Nico Hulkenberg here. Please don't get in the way. They're going to give us a little bout of DRS over the line. Here comes Hulkenberg over the line. It's faster slap. Yes. Well, well, well. Two laps to go. That is absolutely brilliant from Nico Hulkenberg. He has taken faster slap on the penultimate lap of the race for him. Here comes Mick Schumacher. It's Piastri that wins. Schumacher comes over the line. He's uh, set a very good lap time as well, a 105.8, but a 104.7 there for Nico Hulkenberg. He's actually going quicker again. Now, I think we need to be a bit careful here. With uh, the fuel. Lifting coast is good. I have no idea if we've uh, gone under on fuel or anything like that. I'm going to assume we're fine. Yeah, tyres are looking good. Oh, he's coming over the line. Is he going to finish? No! <laughs> Hulkenberg's not finished. Well, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> would have been a 12th place finish. It would have been decent, but... Um, yeah, it's not It's not the end of the world. Schumacher's already crossed the line. I think Hulkenberg will still finish in 12th. Um, Nico Hulkenberg with what can only yeah. be described as a disastrous outing. That was a bitterly disappointing retirement. The team certainly wouldn't have wanted their race to end this way. With such a strong performance from Piastri, there's no denying that he's earned that place on the podium today. Their first win in Formula One, and hopefully a bright future lies ahead of them. And two wins in a row for McLaren. I mean, Norris did well to get back, didn't well, he, after that incident with Zhou Guan Yu. But those three managed to climb to the top. But no Red Bulls on the top of the, the pile. Very, very interesting indeed. But Oscar Piastri winning the race. Well played. And it was a great race, actually. How do you think they'll be feeling in the team garage at the end of that? It's not been the greatest weekend. Both drivers need to step up and show what they can do. And the team have to be there to support them. I, th and that's it for this I think Hulkenberg will Austin. still finish in 12th. For the next round, we're heading back to the heart of the UK. Get ready for a race to remember in Silverstone, the cradle of Formula One. But there you go, Piastri wins ahead of Leclerc in second, Norris third with Verstappen in fourth. Yuki Tsunoda finishes a brilliant fifth place ahead of Stroll in sixth and Alonso in seventh. Perez finishes eighth ahead of Ricardo in ninth and Lewis Hamilton rounds out the top ten. There's Nico Hulkenberg in twelfth despite the non-finish um, because he, he still completed a lot more than Valtteri Bottas in thirteenth. Mick Schumacher bit of a rough day for him he finishes down in 18th place but we do get fastest lap uh so there you go very good into the drivers championship still remains the same same for the constructors as well and into the fastest pit stops unfortunately schumacher's uh, second pit stop didn't quite get into the top 10 it was very close but uh didn't quite get in there. Nico Hulkenberg again, very, very slow on his pit stops. Um, and yeah, Hulkenberg did get his 15th place finish. Nothing there for Mick Schumacher, unfortunately. £404,000 in the bank.
Okay, so front wings uh, have been made and all of that good stuff. Uh, we have had a counter offer from Dennis Hauger. Um, what does he want? He wants. Uh, I don't know what he wants. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, drive development update all looking good. Uh, let's go into this counter offer then. Uh, so he, he's fine to join immediately. Be good for us to get a, an affiliate driver on board. What did we offer him before? Oh, wow. He wants 1.8 million. No, we, we don't want you, mate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We do not want him. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, well, next time out, we have the British Grand Prix, and it's going to be another race where we run our very special uh, green and gold livery, and hopefully it will bring us some luck like it did last time. If you have enjoyed that, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager videos, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.